Welcome back to Writing Light. You've heard it over and over, show don't tell, especially when it comes to your characters. But is it true? Should you pursue it? Lee Child, for one, debunks the myth. We're not story showers, he says, we're story tellers. There's nothing wrong with just telling the story. Well, I would agree with him, except that when it comes to the juncture of story and good writing, I think that there is some truth to the bromide. Saying something like, she was angry, or even she said angrily, isn't nearly as interesting as she narrowed her eyes, or she sucked in a deep breath, or she went rigid. Readers will get that you're ticked off in a much more visceral way than if you're simply saying, she got angry. The showing is good writing. The telling, not so much. But that's a fairly simple case. What about more complex emotions or attitudes that you want your characters to portray? One of the best examples I've heard came from Michael Connolly, who was being interviewed at a mystery conference a few years ago. He was talking about Harry Bosch, his police detective, and then some. And by the way, for the one or two people on this planet that have never read Michael Connolly, stop right here, go out, read one of his books, and then come back. Anyway, uh, Connolly wanted to show Harry's disdain for another police official who he had to interact with. Bosch was in the other guy's office, and he knew the guy was kind of anal about keeping his desk aligned, his pencils sharpened, everything tightly ordered. The guy leaves his office after being particularly irritating, at least to Harry. So what does Bosch do? He pushes the guy's desk to an angle so that his tightly controlled, orderly world is now out of kilter. I love that example. It says more about Harry, of course, than the guy he's dealing with, and it captures Harry's attitude toward authority and fools better than any piece of narrative or dialogue could. So keep that in mind when you're fleshing out your characters. I'll be back again soon with another Writing Light, probably on language. And if this is the first time you're looking at Writing Light, there are seven more that you can catch up on either on YouTube or my website. See you soon.